hope you've all had a really good week and have enjoyed this glorious weather we've had. The peace of our Lord be always with you. Now, for our first prayer, I would like you to say, we welcome you. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we welcome you. Jesus, Son of God, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Friends, old and new, we welcome you. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Amen. Now Diana is going to read our story. Before we start our story, I have something to show you. Some words. I'm going to think of anything that might link all of these words. So the first word is hello. We have bienvenue. Hola. Bonjour. And one common. All of those words mean hello or welcome in different languages around the world. Different places have different ways of saying hello or welcome or even showing that you are welcome. If you're lucky enough to go to Hawaii, when you come off the aeroplane, traditionally in the airport, they give you one of these, a lei. Pretty flowers on a little ribbon or a little string and that's to say welcome to Hawaii. So our story this morning, Jesus wants us to welcome everyone as we would welcome him. As I read the story, I want you to wave every time you hear the word welcome or welcoming. Jesus said to his disciples, wherever you go, if people welcome you, then they are welcoming me too. And if they welcome me, they are also welcoming God. He continued, if someone welcomes a prophet, and welcomes them because they are a prophet, then they will receive the same reward as a prophet. If someone welcomes a good person and welcomes them because they are good, then they will receive the same reward as the good person. And if someone helps one of these little ones, if they give them only a cup of cold water because they are one of my followers, then they will certainly be rewarded. Well, there's been a few times in the last couple of days in which it's been very, very hot that a cup of cold water would really have been a nice thing to have been given, wouldn't it? It would really have shown that someone cared about you. How do you welcome people? What do we normally do when we welcome someone or we meet them for the first time in a place? We say hello, we use one of the words that I showed you earlier. We smile, we're just friendly with them. What about if someone comes to your home? What happens in your home if someone comes? How do you welcome them? Maybe on a hot day it is with a cold drink, probably with a cup of tea, maybe even a biscuit. How might we welcome someone who starts school that hasn't been before? Or someone who comes into our church? As people come into our church, we have people in our welcome area who are there just to do that, to say hello, to welcome people, to make them feel comfortable and to help them join in with what we are doing in our worship. So today I would like you to come up with a couple of different welcome things. You can do these through the week if you'd like to and as always if when you finish them you can send us some pictures. It'd be really lovely to put them up onto the website. So I thought we could start with making some little cards which say welcome to our church so you can put this, you could put Welcome St Mary's, you could draw our church on here. And these, when we start to go back into church in the next couple of months, we could hand them out to a few people as they come in if they're new to our church. Just to show them that we're really pleased to see them and we hope they like to be with us. We can't go out or we can't have too many people to visit our homes at the moment. But it equally might be quite nice to have one of these put in the window. Jesus is welcome here. Because as Christians, we all have Jesus in our hearts and with us all the time in our homes. So this one would show other people that Jesus is with us and he is welcome in our home. If you're feeling really ambitious and you've got some of the bits to do it with, maybe you could make yourselves a lay. Just make, you could make it with paper flowers or tissue flowers, put them on a piece of string or ribbon, 
or even a daisy chain. You could make a little miniature one or you could make a slightly longer one and uh, have fun doing those. So three activities you can try through the week. But the main thing is to remember that all about welcoming people and welcoming people to Jesus and to learning about his story. Now I'm going to pass you back to Lizzie for our prayers. Let's say the family prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now our song for this week is a goodie. It's an oldie and it is a um, big family of God and it reminds us that we are all welcome in God's family. Some of us are big and tall, some of us are very small, some of us like pink and some like blue. Some of us like reading books, some of us like feeding ducks, that's because we're different, me and you. But God loves everyone he's made. God loves each of us in a special way. That's you and 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 you. God loves you. God loves you. That's you and you. to wear. All of us have different families. Some of us are very loud. And some of us don't make a sound. That's because we're different, you and me. But God loves May we go in God's name with the peace of God, a peace that the world cannot give and a peace that the world cannot take away, to offer peace to all we meet. Let's share the peace of God with one another, with a smile, a handshake or a hug. Amen. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next time. The blessings of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.